What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Zaynomics Gaming. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to my channel. It's a free way to support me. Um, currently, I have roughly 90% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. It is a free way to support me. But we are reviewing Assassin's Creed Mirage this week. Um, over the weekend, we will be taking a look at Call of Duty, but today I wanted to review this game. I have spent quite a bit of time inside of it, and I want to say this game really goes back to the original. And what I mean by the original, I'm talking the first Assassin's Creed. It does not play anything like um, a lot of the bigger RPGs, and we'll talk about that more here later, um, but... Right now, I mainly just want to go over the main aspects of the game and what you can expect when playing it. Now, first and foremost, the game is visually beautiful. Now, I think it's worth mentioning that I am on PC with a 4070 Ti and I am using a 3600X um, AMD CPU. Um, I do plan on upgrading that. Please don't comment and say, oh, you need to upgrade your CPU. I know um, I am playing at 1440p and I am roughly getting 150 frames per second, give or take, depending on the area that I'm in. The game is running very smoothly and I do have the render resolution at 120% just to put a little bit more load on my GPU instead of having to worry about um, the CPU bottlenecking so much. But other than that, the game itself is visually stunning. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I could tell that they spent a lot of time in just getting the atmosphere and the environment. Um, really, it, it immerses you into this world and it is definitely a beautiful game beautiful um they definitely get a 10 out of 10 in regards to how the uh environment looks um like i said it's very beautiful to just walk around and play in one thing that i think is very important to note with the review of this game is the fact that it is only 50 dollars. so please take that in consideration when actually thinking about hey should i really purchase this game now um as far as the gameplay goes, it is very similar to the first Assassin's Creed. Um, you can blend in with all types of civilians. Um, you can sit at benches, do a lot of eavesdropping. Um, the parkour is similar to the first game, though it's more refined. Even the assassinations feel pretty much the same. Now, with that being said, this game does um, survive typically the same way as the previous games, where you do have some mysterious power, you have the shards, um, you have an, a cult that you have to uh, pretty much dispatch. You'll go around solving cases similar to Odyssey, Black Flag. Now, before you could complete any high priority assassination, you do have to basically complete the case and reveal who the masked man is of that particular First Order branch, similar to how Odyssey worked. Um, I will reference that here or there quite a bit, I guess you could say, just because this game does have some similar concepts compared to odyssey and um i feel it's appropriate to mention that and of course i did play that game over the summer now as stated previously the character that you are playing with he is not a fighter so just keep that in mind this game really depends on stealth so everything that you do um will require stealth to some degree that's not to say you can't fight you do have a dagger you do have a sword and everything else but this game is really paying homage to the first Assassin's Creed dealing with stealth. Um, so don't expect that you'll be able to go in and just fight. If you're taking on more than four enemies at a time, it's better to just flee. Similar to the old games, there's smoke bombs, there's all types of different tools that you can uh, equip. Now compared to Valhalla and the other old Assassin's Creed games, you had a lot of skills that you could unlock. Um, on here, it is more simplified, kind of like how the first game is. You don't have that many skills compared to the recent games. You can't. There's not really a build, so to speak. You just unlock all the skills, and then you have everything to use at your disposal. This game is very simplified to the fact that it is almost like a remake of the original Assassin's Creed. Now, one of the cool skills that you'll actually unlock on its own is called Assassin's Focus. You will unlock that roughly two to three hours into um, your story play and it really just depends on how fast you play the game and how quickly you're trying to get through the story and it is very useful because you are able to basically teleport 
to a high advantage point when you were assassinating. So and it pretty much works like the background gameplay, but it allows you to teleport to any enemy within proximity. So if they're way up on a building, it's easy to get that advantage point. Along with the certain abilities that you unlock during story mode, you will actually get skill points as well. And you could get some of the best skills in the game, which are like auto collect, when you kill an enemy, it automatically loots them. Breakfall, you reduce damage. Chain assassination, which is very useful. Emergency aim, that is also very useful too. When you're detected quickly, you can quickly go into uh, aim mode. Knife recovery, this skill gives you a chance to recover your throwing knives. Vision boost, extra tool capacity, which allows you to have more equipment, whether it be throwing knives, smoke bombs, and fire bombs. Now, all that stuff is very useful when it comes to playing the game and though it does it is simplified um, let's get that straight it's not like how Valhalla or odyssey was or origins it's a little different everything is much more simplified in this game from the equipment that you use to the abilities to the skills and everything of that nature like i said there's really no build in this game um you pretty much just play with what they give you and i kind of look at that as a negative standpoint though you do have some great abilities and different skills there's they're really not anything that we haven't seen before. So really all you have to go off of is how beautiful the environment is and the actual story. Does it really captivate the player? Does it make the player want to spend $50 to play this game? And that is a bonus that this game is only $50. I feel like the developers have spent a lot of time in the environment and the music as well. The music is phenomenal. I love the uh, audio that is captivated within the story. And of course, I love the historical backgrounds of Baghdad, but it does feel a lot different. And I feel like Assassin's Creed Black Flag has kind of ruined that for me. Once that game released, it was like a whole RPG. That's when the game really took a turn um, for me personally, I know Assassin's Creed 3 kind of delved into that, but man, Black Flag was just, it was just top tier. It was beautiful. You were a pirate. You had your own ship. You had all kinds of stuff, and it was just amazing to play. So for us to go backwards, it kind of feels like a step backwards, unfortunately. And uh, although I love, I don't want to say I love the game, but although I love the environment and the beauty that was put into this game, the attention to detail... I feel like it's missing something. Um, typically, we look at like Assassin's Creed Valhalla or Odyssey, and we feel like we're not an assassin when we're playing those games. But honestly, with Assassin's Creed Mirage, I feel like I'm not an assassin either. I feel like I'm just waiting in the dark and I'm just killing people. And I know that's the definition of assassins, but I still don't feel like I'm an assassin. Another issue I have with the game is the combat. Even though you can fight if you parry um pretty well you could get the immediate kill the same thing with assassinations all you have to do is just you could get an insta kill on anybody as long as you sneak up behind them assassinate if you parry them correctly it's a kill immediately the only enemies that really don't give you that satisfaction are as if you get your notoriety high enough um you'll have like a special ninja guy come after you i don't know what they're called but uh they are pretty pretty difficult to fight and you cannot assassinate them immediately like everybody else but it's so easy to get your notoriety down all you have to do is just rip your signs down so they'll paste like posters all over the wall you just rip those down and it takes it down like a third and that's a lot and then you can also uh pay the or you could bribe um one of the merchants and they will speak on you and pretty much just broadcast that hey you're not wanted and it completely depletes your whole notoriety now another thing i want to talk about is the parkour aspect of this assassin's creed game they really marketed that um proficiently because parkour has completely changed inside of this game it feels so much more smoother um it's not as clunky and laggy as it was in previous games you can scale a lot of buildings and mountains and everything else fairly quickly um, you will spend pretty much 80% of the time on foot in this game. You don't have a boat. You don't have, well, you do have horses, but there's really no need for them. Um, so parkouring is very essential, especially with getting around the map, scaling all the buildings that you need to. And you could definitely tell that they spent a lot of time reworking how this game functions when you are scaling these buildings or um, mountainsides or anything like that. Um, I will say the wilderness area of this game is dead 
there's nothing out in the wild or in the desert. There's a few little ponds, maybe a couple little secrets here or there, but that is it. Um, there might be an animal or two, but you don't even need to kill animals in this game. So it is completely different from the other games. So if you enjoy that aspect of um, the older Assassin's Creed, you're really not going to like the wilderness. I feel like it was just mainly filler content that just kind of put it in there just to set the tone of the environment. But there's nothing um, hardly out there. You might come across a little town or two, but other than that, your main area is going to be in the city where it's more dense, more heavily populated. And the only downside to that or drawback is a lot of the buildings look the same. There are a few notable, beautiful pieces of um, architect or architecture in the city that are absolutely gorgeous. Now, another important aspect of this game is money. Of course, you need money to buy all types of different uh, materials so you can upgrade your weapons. Though it is simplified, just like everything else in this game, you do have steel, um, some special components, and leather that you have to purchase. You can also refill your tools as well, and that's pretty much it. There's other little trinkets and everything, like different jewelries and stuff that you can sell, pre like the older games. But um, the easiest way to get money in this game is actually by pickpocketing. And it is essential that you pickpocket everybody that you see. You can use your eagle vision, or if you just see the little satchel on the side of their belt, you know that you're able to pickpocket them. And it's so easy to do. I'm actually expecting it to be nerfed at some point, just because all you have to do is uh, just walk up behind them, pickpocket them, and then they don't say anything for maybe 20 seconds or so. So it gives you plenty of time to even get away. And all they're going to do is just say, help, help. And the guards don't even pay any mind to them so it is very important that you pickpocket anytime that you get now the chests aren't really worth it um, you'll see chests scattered throughout there are some important ones and they look a little different but all the little wooden crate chests all they have is just some materials in there and for me they're not really important to actually go after unless you're trying to 100 percent complete the game um, I don't see any point in them at first I thought there would be something cool in them like different weapon ornaments or anything like that but unfortunately they don't have really anything it'll just be some steel or some special components and that's really it but pickpocketing is very important if you're trying to get more Durham or if you're trying to get special uh, tokens to bribe or work with merchants or mercenaries to help you in the game and you see in the background gameplay all you have to do is just walk up behind them and pickpocket them and you never know what you'll get. You could get some form of jewelry um, or the special tokens like I just said previously. The game itself is very rewarding in that aspect, but other than that, there's really no loot in this game. You may get a couple of different other weapons and you can also diff get different outfits um, with the special shards that you get. Of course, every Assassin's Creed game has some special um, tunnel or cave that has the special shards where you could uh, that way you can unlock other gear or upgrade a special blade like how Odyssey was. Um, so once you get those special shards, you will be able to unlock those chests. And that's what the costume is that I have on now. And it does give me a special ability where if I do an air assassination, it does create a cloud of smoke and a shockwave beneath the feet so I can get out of there. And it also um, staggers other enemies. Though I don't like the mask just because it, it looks pretty cool, but Every time he talks now, it sounds animatronic or robotic, and I don't really like that, especially when you're going through the story. There are other outfits and weapons that you can unlock once you collect those mysterious shards, but other than that, there's really no other loot in this game. Like I said, it's simplified, um, and that's the unfortunate side of the game. So my final verdict for this game is I'm going to give it a rating. Um, I am going to rate it 7.7 out of 10 just for the fact that it is very beautiful and it does have some nostalgia feel to it. Although that nostalgia kind of wears off as you start playing more and more into the game. It gets kind of old and boring and you kind of remember of how the first one was to where you're like, mm, I'm kind of looking for something new, a little bit more refreshing. The game itself, the visuals, the audio is perfect. It's beautiful, 10 out of 10 in that aspect. But as far as the gameplay goes, it does get a kind of boring and it just, it's very simplified. 
There's no weapon crafting, there's no build crafting, there's nothing like that. And I know this isn't an RPG, but that's what we've come to know with the Assassin's Creed series. Ever since Assassin's Creed 3, I believe, they started diving into more RPG elements. And although you can argue and say that those aren't Assassin's Creed games, to me and to most of the population, I would argue that they are Assassin's Creed games. RPG elements just bring it more alive. And this game is kind of a walk backwards in that aspect just because we don't have that same characteristics as the other games we don't have the loot we don't have build crafting we don't have the special abilities that we once had with black flag odyssey valhalla origins we don't have that now it is very simplified especially in all the menus and everything that you see here the map is even smaller so the 50 dollars price tag is very justifiable but i'm not going to give it a better score just because it's 50 dollars it does is lack in a lot of areas although it's beautiful i'm hoping that there will be some dlcs added in the future to kind of mitigate the boringness that comes with this game because after all once you beat this game there's really nothing else for you to do the campaign is only roughly 15 hours and then from there all you have is a couple of little library books to collect and maybe some chests and that's it there's nothing else for you to do in this game and of course, I love the other RPG elements in the other games, but this game, or it was supposed to be treated as a DLC for Valhalla, and it absolutely feels that way just without the Valhalla trinkets and different abilities that Valhalla had in it. So for me, it's hard for me to really justify this game. It is basically a old remake of the first Assassin's Creed. That's how it plays. That's how it feels when you're playing it although it visually looks better and you see that you're in a new area of course we're in baghdad and everything else it's beautiful it's very beautiful it does have the nostalgia feel and it is fun to play there there are some great moments in the game great moments in the story but it's so simplified now that it's hard for me to really recommend this game unless you are just a diehard assassin's creed um, player now if this is your first time playing Assassin's Creed It's a little bit easier for me to recommend just because you pay the $50 to play you enjoy the game You're like mm, I want more well the other games are on sale So Valhalla Odyssey those games are on sale and there's way more for you to do in those games And that will bring you more content for yourself That will be a brand new enjoyable experience for you, but if you're coming from Valhalla or Odyssey and you play this you're gonna feel a little underwhelmed just because there's not as much to do and that's why I have given this game a 7.7 .7 out of 10 this game is 100% stealth 100% simplified and it can get boring and un that's unfortunate for me I hope you guys enjoyed the video like I said if you guys aren't subscribed consider subscribing to my channel it is a free way to support me we cover a lot of games on here well I try to anyways um, we will be going over Modern Warfare 3 this coming week I will have access to the beta on the 12th and we will be playing around with the older maps we'll just see how the game feels and of course we will have some exclusive content when that game actually releases and we get everything associated with it we may have some more Assassin's Creed stuff it just depends um, one quick note the benchmark for PC players anyways it is kind of broken right now the game just crashed immediately though when I'm actually playing the game with the settings that I have I haven't had any crashes any crazy high temps or anything like that so it's probably just a bug with the benchmark but other than that guys what do you think of Assassin's Creed Mirage are you guys playing it do you plan to continue playing it does it suck do you like it do you want ubisoft to go back to its rpg elements what are your thoughts on assassin's creed mirage and like i said if you're not subscribed to my channel consider subscribing if you enjoy this video or content like this is greatly appreciated and it's a free way to support me i love you guys i hope you all have a wonderful day i'll see you all in the next video